This is six four point guard John Wall, and welcome to my life. Right now, I'm walking over here to make sure I go to the gym and get my cardio in. It's the first thing I do to start my day off. Jay, what's up, baby? Ready to work, baby? What's up, what's up? So, what we'll do today, we're about to uh, get a cardio in, work out in on the treadmill. It'll be similar to a game, so we'll be doing some jogging, sprinting, jogging, sprinting, just to uh, simulate how the, the game of basketball changes pace. We'll start off at 7.0, go for about two minutes, and we'll pick up the speed. All right now, there's really no way you can play basketball like 5 on 5, so basically, if I can't play pickup nowhere, I gotta do some conditioning and cardio to stay in shape. So 15 seconds spread on now. Guys like Chris Paul and Derrick Rose and LeBron, you know, those guys run a lot and they. A uh, key to their team, so I'm trying to put in the work they put in years ago when they was coming to the draft. 7:45, we got another fast break. Is that John Wall? I think that's so cool. I do. I. <laughs> I never played on the level that he's gonna play on, but I do understand that he can possess all the skill and talent in the world. But if his stamina isn't there, it won't come out the way it needs to to make him successful and allow him to be the Hall of Fame I know he desires to be. Good job, Jay. Five. Ah. Let's go. Ah. Let's go. Let's go. Ah. I just finished a 30 minute run. I'm exhausted. I go hard for six days and this is my light day. I don't go extra hard like I do on other days, but I came here and got a 30 minute run nonstop. All I need yeah, to it is. Give me the ball, I make it any kind of way. I'll catch up with y'all later in the gym. I'm putting in some more work. As a point guard, I'm a great leader. I feel like I'm a good leader. It could be better. I like to play defense. I like to get steals. I like to rebound. I like to do everything, little stuff. You know, like Rondo, he does everything for his team, you know. Usually every day I, I warm up, you know, ball hand and trying to do stuff off the dribble and mash in the mid range jump shot at sweet spot is like the free throw line area. Six in a row for shot. Let's shoot the ball. The defenders are going to back off me, so if I get into the paint a little bit right in front of the three point line, I got to be more consistent in knocking it down. Same stroke every time. Good job. No, four shot, this is a gym where it used to be packed because people couldn't get in. It's too small. I try to tell them. When you have a Showtime player like me. He's an unbelievable athlete. Everybody knows that he's extremely fast with the basketball. So with that, we want to uh, help him with making reads and how to set people up and throw the defense off rhythm. Good. He's playing dry, make him pay. Good shot. Good shot. He's faster than what you think he is just with your eye. When you're on the court with him, you realize how fast and how athletic he really is. In and out, crossover, get to the basket. I think I'm going to be uh, mentally prepared. Good. The toughest thing for me, really, I think is going to be physically. You know, playing so many games back to back and getting used to those beatings. So it's basically like DeJuan said, stretching, icing my body, getting that cold tub as much as I can, and getting rest. And it's always good when you have somebody with his type of talent, with good work ethic, never wants to take a day off. But we know that that, that 82 games is a long, long time, and that he has to get his rest, and that we have to work hard, but we also have to work smart. Game winner right here. Good, free throws, May 5. And as a person, you know, I really ain't really set too many goals, but you know, basically one of the top point guards in the league and things of that caliber. Go. This is when you got to rise up. So. It's a dream come true. And basically, you know what? I've been thanking God for the ability and the chances he gave me to uh, change my life around, change my attitude. I could have went into Kentucky and thought I was a better than everybody, bigger than the coach, bigger than the basketball program they have for years. But I went there trying to learn and get better and mature. So that's the key thing I tell kids now. Don't let your attitude stop you from being something special or having an opportunity.